body the body, fresh off that final face-off. And there was a real noticeable difference between your demeanour and how hyped up Bobby was coming in, in at you and you're just smiling at him. What are you thinking? I'm um, thinking, the, I don't want to say it. He's, I know he's not scared, you know what I mean? But I don't know if the pressure's getting to him a bit. Uh, but this is his 50th fight, so I don't think he's going to feel that much pressure, but I don't think he ex expected the reception he got yesterday. I don't think he expected to get booed like he did there. He's realising that when he walks out in this arena, every man is going to be against him. Every single man, woman and child is going to be cheering for me. And he's going to be like, what, what's going on here? But I don't, I don't think he's nervous or nothing like that, but I think he's thinking, wow, this is going to be different than I thought it was going to be. You know what I mean? Bobby has his best performances in the apex. Simple as that. I have my best performances when I've got a crowd, when I'm feeding off the energy. Well, I was going to say, what does it feel like to be back here on home soil? Everyone's shouting, oh, Paddy the Baddy. I mean, how much does that give you a mental advantage? Because you rise to those occasions, yeah. right? It's nice being back in the UK, you know what I mean? Back in England, in the north. We're in Manchester. We're only 40 minutes away from my house in Liverpool. We're only down the M62. So, yeah, I, I cannot wait. Like, my last two fights in Vegas, I went to decision. And, you know, I'm a finisher. I don't like that. But my last two fights in London, down south, were finished in the first and second round. Both reunited chokes. And it wouldn't surprise me if I got Bobby down and drowned him like that. But I'm predicting a, a head kick knockout. And you said you just signed a new contract today. Congratulations. So you told people you're not going anywhere. And this fight gets you into the top 15. How many fights, if you can tell us, have you got on the new contract? Six. Six, Six including this one. And yeah, people made a big deal out of me saying, oh, I'll, I'll box someone, but obviously I'll box someone if they're getting paid, they're paying me millions of dollars for prize fighters. But that got turned into a headline, like I was leaving the UFC. Why would I leave the UFC when I'm about to get a ranking? Why would I leave the UFC, the marquee MMA promotion? People don't even call MMA MMA, they call it UFC. Why would I go to one of these B-League organisations like Bellator or PFL or all the crabs who can't get signed by the UFC go to? Know what I mean? Everyone knows I am fighting on the marquee promotion. I'm not going to no silly second tier organisation. All right, well, thanks for clearing that up. Congrats on the contract. You've got the orange shorts to boot as well. Your walkout song will be blasting through the arena. Final word to the fans that are going to turn up in the small hours of the morning to watch you. To the 25,000 fans coming, to the millions of fans watching at home, be prepared. The body show is back. The king of the north is back. If he wants to call himself king, I'm and king slayer. Yeah, I hope you're ready. That 100k bonus, coming home with me. All right, go well. Thanks, Paddy. You know that.